Well, it's the middle of July. I'm out in the book cliffs in the southern part. Um, can't see through the trees here, but I'm looking straight towards Moab right now onto the Colorado Plateau. But the reason I stopped right here with Sweetie and Shadow is that I noticed a really weird uh, phenomenon with these aspen trees in front of me. They've all been uh, beaten down almost like a tornado has hit them. Extremely strong winds have broken off the tops of all these aspen trees. Um, this pine tree right here also is broken off about you know, 15 feet up on the top. Um, it was a super heavy snow year, but I don't think the snow got to be 40 feet deep or whatever in here. So I'm thinking that there's just a particularly violent microburst or uh, thunderstorm cell or something that came through and blew all the tops of these trees down because I've never seen damage like this. It would have had to just been incredible winds. Um, probably even a tornado came through. Tornadoes do occur in Utah. There's just so many less people and, and more empty areas for them to go in that they just aren't reported. But these trees have suffered a lot of damage and this happened within the last nine months because I was in this exact area uh, last November and this hadn't happened then. Huh, Shadow? That's weird stuff. So I'm going to go down and investigate it a little bit more, but this is a really neat uh, phenomenon, I guess. I keep calling it that, but I've never seen it happen like this before. So. This is one of the, the pine trees with damage on it. You can see these branches that are broken or fresh scarred. So this storm could have happened. See that? It seems to be fresh and these needles are still just totally wet. They haven't even really dried out. There's always a few little dead needles on even living branches, but I'd say this is something that could have happened with these violent storms. We had one, I think, about three days ago, and you can see the thunderheads just barely starting to build. It's 9 o'clock in the morning right now, so very early for thunderstorms yet, at least thermal, you know, generated ones from the desert. I'm going to walk over here right under the aspens because this is extraordinary damage. Also, you can see some of the snowberries. This is the best snowberry year I've seen in probably 20 years. Because of all the moisture, so clearly they got a lot of snow up here, but there's no way snow stacked that deeply and did that kind of damage to a stand of aspen trees. snap a few still photos when I get down here too. You can see how tall the grass is as well. I'll show it next to me, but you know, it's probably three feet tall. There's something else with this. Tree damage. You can also see all the lupin flowers growing up in the sagebrush. Still, I'm at 9,500 feet right now, almost, and so summer is just barely, barely beginning. I would call it late spring. But boy, look at these trees. These are big trees that have just been totally bent over. You can see the fresh leaves, so these aspens didn't even uh, put their leaves on until one month ago. So this happened almost certainly in the last storm, or there was a storm about a week and a half ago. No, about one week ago that was also an extreme storm. But 
that's broken off about 10 feet high and with the leaves on it the snow didn't do that these are bent over even higher but that's this tree is probably 9 10 inches in diameter and it's just bent over all these big giant trees I gotta be a little careful one of these might actually just topple down I see I can't even budge that just barely probably another you know foot in diameter tree So it looks like a tornado is what tore through here. I couldn't say how big. Maybe the weather service could see, you know, the intensity of the thunder cells in the area. There's another tree that's been totally toppled. It has fresh green leaves on it also. These are its leaves that have just barely come out. See how big the, the aspen leaves are this year. That's another prediction I made was that we would have exceptional fall colors this year and the foliage is exceptionally dense. These leaves are probably quadruple the size of a normal aspen leaf. That's amazing. But this, it's just localized damage in here, as you can see on the far hill. None of the trees have gotten it. That supports my tornado hypothesis because it's such localized damage, almost like <laughs> maybe a spaceship landed right here. It's almost what it looks like. Except there's a clearing right next to it, so... <laughs> They'd be pretty dumb aliens. <laughs> oh, this, uh, I'm glad I wasn't camped here when the storm came through. See more green leaves. All of these fallen aspen trees. So this one was toppled at its trunk. I had a little weakness in that area obviously but it still has fresh leaves still a robust living tree and this one's probably 15 inches in diameter so this is a very large tree several thousand pounds quite the damage <laughs> 